Her Singapore Defence Minister Ng Enhen says that most world leaders would like to see continuity and follow-up in how China and the US manage their relationship. But Dr Ng says that expectations of the Biden-Xi meeting should be kept realistic. Now he was speaking to the media as he wrapped up the visit to Beijing to attend a regional security forum. And uh, Olivia Xiong has this report. When the White House confirmed Wednesday that U.S. President Joe Biden would meet his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping later this month, it was no surprise to Singapore Defence Minister Ng Eng Hen. He said the signals from speaking to officials in Beijing indicated that this was on the cards. However, he said expectations of the highly anticipated sit-down on the sidelines of the APEC summit in San Francisco need to be kept realistic, as China and the U.S. are not at the stage where they can resolve their core differences. Instead, Dr Ng suggested that both sides should look at areas where they can agree on and are achievable. Also, ensuring this process does not get disrupted by other issues that may emerge, like they had in the past. The last time the two leaders met in person was on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Bali last year. Follow-up and continuity is key. You can have meetings, but if there are no uh, effective uh, outcomes, then it actually discourages you because you say, well, we had a meeting before and uh, less came out of it than we expected. So I'm optimistic this time uh, there will be such an outcome because uh, coming out of Bali, uh, the meeting, I think both sides have an understanding of uh, what's that's more at stake. Dr Ng was wrapping up a four-day visit to China where he attended the Xiangshan Forum. However, the lack of high-level representation from the West at the annual defence event has drawn attention. Over 90 nations and international organisations attended this year's Xiangshan Forum, many from developing countries and the global south seen as friends and partners of China. The US also sent a delegation to the event, but not at the defence minister level. Dr Ng said this can change if the US or Western Europe were to recognise its importance. He pointed out that on a larger scale, it reflected challenges the world faces, with a line being drawn between the developed world and the global south. That itself is a friction point, a tectonic plate. If you don't pay attention to it, you will lose the global south if you've not already lost it. And I mean uh, the developed countries, you will lose the emerging economies and without their buy-in, without their cooperation, you won't be able to address uh, the global challenges, uh, not least uh, climate change. The Xiangshan Forum is China's largest show of military diplomacy, but this year it took place without a Chinese defence minister at the helm. Beijing had removed Li Shangfu from the post last week without explanation and without naming a replacement. When asked about this, Dr Ng said this would not affect bilateral cooperation. I didn't sense that there are they were in uh, any state of uh, crisis or turmoil. I think they'll take in their stride as when it comes to bilateral relations, uh, the agreements that we signed are institutionalized. I think they will uh, continue despite the change of personalities. So I think in short, uh, it looks uh, as if uh, it's business as usual here. During his four-day trip, Dr. Ng also met China's number three ranking military official General He Weidong and other senior officials from the People's Liberation Army. He said the two armed forces are looking at how to step up engagement further on the back of a defense agreement signed in 2019. Olivia Xiong, CNA, Beijing.